Question 7 is usually the most challenging uh, in some papers, but in most cases it is always the challenging one because it puts together many topics. Okay, now question 7 here they are saying a particle P of mass 3 kilograms is projected with a speed of 8 meters per second up a line of greater slope on a rough plane inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. P is projected at a point A on the plane and comes to instantaneous rest at point B on the plane. P then slides back down the plane. The coefficient of friction between P and the plane is root 3 over 12. Use an energy method throughout to find the speed of P at an instant it returns to A. So here they, they have restricted us to the energy method. Kinetic energy, then we also have the uh, potential energy. Now, remember, we are supposed to draw okay, a diagram. I've always told you that you need to know how to sketch. Let's say uh, this particle is begin from down here and then it ends up here. Okay, now in here they have not told us the distance it is covering. Okay, I'll let it be D. Of course, uh, this one here, let me actually try to extend this one here up so that I can get some space to write something down there. Uh -huh. Now we shall have mg cosine here, the 3g then cosine of that 30, because you know that this one is 30 degrees. Then um, we also have mu r here, and then the mg, mg sine of 30. But since we are going to use an energy method, we might not need this mg sine of 30 because it will be catered for when we are looking for potential energy. Now it is projected with a speed of 8. So initial here is 8. Initial speed 8 meters per second. Now since it is projected with a speed, that means it has kinetic energy. Okay. So using this one here as a reference point, then we are not having potential energy here. Okay. But then as it comes to this part up here, then there is vertical energy generated here. Okay. So since there is that vertical energy, which is, I mean, vertical height, which is generated up here, that means at this point here, there will be potential energy because of this H here. Okay. Because potential energy is equal to mgh. You see that? Okay. Now this particle here is coming to this position. Uh, of course, this is point A. They said it is at point A and then it comes to point B. So this is point B here. Here, velocity is zero because it is coming to rest. I think that is what they said somewhere. And comes to instantaneous rest at B. You see that? So since it comes here and its velocity or its speed is zero, that means there is no kinetic energy. So all the kinetic energy it was having here has been converted into the potential energy up here. You see that? Okay. Now, using this one here is a right angle triangle. So sine of 30 is equal to the opposite, which is H, then divide by this D here, the hypotenuse. So meaning H is equal to D sine of 30. And sine of 30 is a half. So that means we shall have it is equal to D over 2. You see that? Okay. And remember, uh, they have told us to find the speed. Now, using the energy method, using the work, I call it the work energy principle. Okay. The work energy principle, we say work done by the driving force, work done by the driving force. If you have been following me on this channel, then you must have come across this minus. Work done against resistance, work done 
against resistance then this one is equal to the change in mechanical energy change in mechanical energy and uh, mechanical energy is equal to the sum of kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy okay all right now from here work done by the driving force since this one has been projected and it goes up this way there is no force which goes with it that is applied it is a free fall the driving force is that possible is that force we put on this particle and then it moves it it is with it so since that force is not there this is free falling or free projection then this one is zero now minus work done against resistance so against resistance uh, the resistance is mu r here so we have mu r then times d because you know that work is equal to force times what distance then which is equal to change in mechanical energy we need to get the final then minus the initial so final we have potential energy which is mgh so we have m which is 3 g is 10 h is this one here the d over 2 then minus the initial it was having kinetic energy kinetic energy is a half then m v squared okay m v squared you see that uh-huh now by the way here i'm considering moving from here going up to here okay but remember they said use an energy method to uh, throughout to find the speed of the particle at the instant it returns to a that means it goes here and then after it comes back here so i need to use this energy method such that i can find the value of d which i will then use later to find the speed when it comes back here you see that okay now here by the way using all of this uh, we are considering going up uh, let me actually put this one down a little bit and then we say that uh, this one is for going up the plane you see uh -huh, that is the first scenario i'm considering here okay uh let's continue and uh, we get our d okay so what's our d mu is given as root 3 over 12 is it yes root 3 over 12 so we have minus root of 3 over 12 and then our r r is mg cosine because there is no vertical movement here this r is equal to this one here you see that okay so we shall have 3 then g cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2 and then our d uh, yes we need the d but then this one is equal to this is 30 over 2 that will be 15 d then minus this is 64 divided by 2 you get 32 so 32 times 3 you get 96 now we need to get d so collect like terms together bring the 96 this side okay so i'll get 96 here then this one is equal to 15 okay when this one crosses here it will add up so what will this one be this one uh, we shall have root of 3 times root of 3 that one will be a 3 3 times 3 that is 9 9 times 10 that is a 90 so we have 90 over 24 okay 90 over 24 by by 6 i think we shall get a 15 here then by 6 we shall get a 4 right uh-huh now if we have 15 over 4 i'll put it this side and i say plus 15 over 4 of d because this one has a d and then this one also has a d so meaning our d is going to be that 96 then divide by the 15 then plus 15 over 4 so what is this value of d 96 then divide by 15 then plus 15 over 4 this one gives us 128 over 25 which is 5.12 5.12 that is the distance on the plane 
that that particle moves up okay now after getting that okay we need to get now go, we need now to look at going down okay going down the plane if we go down the plane remember we are using an energy method work done by the driving force minus work done against resistance is equal to the change in mechanical energy okay now we are starting from here w work done by the driving force remember it is still zero then minus work done against resistance so we shall have the mu r okay mu r now this side the particle is now going down so mu r is this way okay uh, because it acts in a direction that opposes the motion so our uh, we shall have mu r mu r then again times d then shall be equal to the change in mechanical energy now when it comes here there will be a speed it will be moving with, which we are looking for, that is V. So we shall have final, there will, there will be kinetic energy, no potential energy, because using this reference point, there is now no vertical what? height. So I'll get the final mechanical energy will be in terms of kinetic energy, because the potential energy there is zero. Okay, so we shall have a half, then M, now v we don't know that velocity then minus the initial potential energy uh, because it is moving from here it came to rest when it reached here okay now it is moving so here the speed was zero so that means there is no kinetic energy so still we have potential energy and we shall have three okay which is m g h so three times ten then the h is where is the h the h is here d over 2 okay it is still this one here so if it is d over 2 our d we have gotten it as 5.1 2 then divide by what by 2 so this one here being a negative i will bring it to this side okay now when i bring it to this side uh, this will be 30 divided by 2 that is 15 so 15 times 5.12 what do we get 15 times 5.12 that one gives us 76.8 so i have 76.8 then minus what do we have here mu is root of 3 over 12 then r remember it is mg cosine of 30 so m is 3 then g is 10 then cosine of 30 then times d which is 5.12 then this one will be equal to 3 over 2 from here okay v squared so what is this one simplified so we have 76.8 minus what root of 3 then we divide by 12 then times that is 30 then times root root 3 over 2 that would be 15 root 3 so times 15 root of 3 and then from there we multiply by 5.12 and this one gives us 19.2 so 19.2 then we get 3 over 2 here so meaning v is going to be the square root of first of all cross multiply so we have 2 times this 76.8 minus 19.2 and then we shall divide this one by 3. So altogether, what will be the value of V here to three significant figures? Square root of 2 into 76.3, no, 0.8, then minus 19.2. And then down here, we have a 3. Uh, actually, we need to close the brackets here. That is 8 root 15 over 5, which is 6.20 to three significant figures. 6.20 meters per second. That is to three significant figures. So this has been it for this paper. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you. If you find the content very helpful to you, kindly like, share, and even subscribe. See you in the next videos.